Is that correct? Is that correct? Yes. yes. Huh? No, it's not correct. Your income comes in, and then you spend. After you spend, how much is left? How much is left? Zero. Nothing. I'm telling you, you haven't earned money yet. I was earning money for years. When I was a steward, I earned 1700 a month. End of the month, I'll be broke. When I was in business, I earned $300,000 a year, $25,000 a month. End of the month, I was also broke after expenses. The more I earn, the more I spend. If most people will tell you this equation is correct, this equation is not correct. Because when your income comes in and you spend and the balance you want to save, I assure you, there's nothing to save. Okay? So what should it be? Income. When your income comes in, what do you do? You take out your savings. Okay? Take out your savings. Be it 10, 20, 30%. Take it out first. Then the balance, what do you do? The balance is your expenses. Okay? For years, I didn't understand this simple equation. I say, oh, I got my pay, okay, okay. Don't, don't spend so much, I must leave some for saving. Every month, the first month, I, I save 50 bucks. After that, I was spending more than what I earned. Okay, so you got to take up your savings first, the balance is spent out. The government here is very good. They've got this thing called CPF, Central Provident Fund. The moment you start your, your first paycheck, before you could get it, Mr. Lee Shen Lung has taken some uh, aside already, okay? He's taken about maybe 20% depending on how old you are. He takes it aside and he puts it into this fund that you, you're not supposed to touch. The only problem is that they allow it for your HDB, for your housing, and that's the reason why when people retire, they don't have enough money, okay? But that's a good start because by having four savings, Singapore is... Worldwide, universally, we are very rich, generally speaking. We save money. Most people have a lot of money in their CPF account. If the government has said, no, no, don't worry, you, we don't cut CPF, you, you try and save on your own, most people will have a lot less money. Okay? So you got to force yourself to save. So the way is when, you, when your paycheck comes in, your income less your savings, the balance is your expenditure. Okay? And then you must live within your income so you don't get into debt. Now, if I listen to my talk when I first started out in life, today I'll be a multi-millionaire. But I didn't listen to my talk, so I'm only a millionaire. Okay? I made a lot of mistakes. I, I lived beyond my income and I got into debt. You must not get into debt. You must live within your income. Yeah? Rule number two, you must earn more than you need. Simple. Some of you are saying, you know, my standard, uh, I cannot take yakun, uh, you know, yakun below my standard. Uh, when I go dating, how can I take my girlfriend to yakun? Minimum Starbucks. Okay, fine. Then you make sure you earn more than you need. Okay? Some of you, your needs are higher. You've got to live prudently, but not all the time. How much is the cheapest cup of coffee? How much? Cheapest cup of coffee. 30 cents? Where do you get a cup of coffee for 30 cents? Even tin. Okay, very good. Wrong answer. Cheapest cup of coffee. You do it yourself. Bring it at home. Bring it in your dorm. You buy a can of coffee and you put some hot water in it, one spoon and you put sugar, it's cheaper. I think it works out to like 8 cents or the most 10 cents, okay? So drink coffee at home, okay? Try and drink your coffee at home. Why waste the money? You live prudently, okay? The next cheapest cup of coffee is the one you drink at the canteen, is 30 cents. More than that? What's more expensive than 30 cents? Come on, talk to me. One dollar. Where? Yeah, next cafe can. Next cafe can, one dollar. Okay, then next, Yakun. Yakun has gone to one thirty or one fifty. Yeah, Yakun and Kilini Road, Kopitia. Okay, beyond that? Starbucks. Starbucks. How much is a cup of coffee in Starbucks? Coffee bean? Four, four plus. Four plus. Four plus. 
If you drink in your canteen for 30 cents, you're going to pay 4 plus. 4 plus is 15 cups of coffee, right? <laughs> Why do people drink Starbucks? So they can sit in the open, El Fresco, right? Look cool, right? <laughs> How do you look cool in temperatures of 32 degrees? <laughs> drink hot coffee. Uh, unless you take blended. Dumb. You, you save money, you drink at home. You drink, drink in the dorm. I mean, bring your own. But once in a while, you must drink Starbucks. Once a week, maybe. Once a fortnight, I don't know. Drink Starbucks. To remind you that you are saving to have that kind of life. Because if you drink dorm coffee your, in your dorm, uh, or a home coffee all the time, after all, you say there's no need to work harder. <laughs> I, don't to, I don't need to drink Starbucks. No, you drink Starbucks once in a while. I do that. I, I drink my tea at home. I drink my coffee at home. If I'm out, then oh, okay, I go to Yakun. But on the weekends when I'm out with my family, when I take my wife, when I take my kids out, I go Starbucks. I have a choice. But when I'm on my own, if I can save, I save my life. Okay? You live prudently, but the 